Hey CAD friends, American Thanksgiving is over. That means it's time to get ready for the Christmas season. And you guys know that I love designing and printing everything I own and that doesn't slow down around the Christmas season. That's why in this episode, we're gonna be designing and printing our own tree ornaments. Let's go. Okay CAD friends, so we have a double header today, two designs, one video. So the first is going to be a basic extrude kind of uh, ornament that I designed and the second is going to be a multi-part um, spinning star that I designed. So you can see I'll, I'll put the two here and the description below will show them broke up. If you don't want to see the simple one, you can skip to the advanced one, but stick around. It's fun. Okay, cat friends. So the first one we're going to design is just a basic extruded star. So the way we started this is we just started a sketch on the front plane and then just started drawing out a star. So best, the easiest way to draw a star is to actually draw all the points all the way through. So there we got those all the way drawn through. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up all the inside uh, edges here that we don't need for making the extrude. We're gonna trim those up using the trim entity tool. So we're gonna use the power trim. We're just gonna quickly go around and we're gonna draw over top of the lines and they disappear just like that. We're gonna do some reference geometry to try and straighten this thing out. So we're gonna make that up. And now in a star or a five point star like this, all the sides are the same length. So one quick way to define a star is to quickly quickly go through and select these ones here and then go equal. And there we go. We have a defined star. So now we're just gonna make this tangent with that and then set our star height. So I think our star is gonna be about four inches tall. And there we have it. We have a fully defined star just like that. So now all we have to do is make all the points kind of converge to a, a center point like you see in, in the design right here. So the easiest way to do this, or I guess there's multiple ways to do this. You could draw um, some 3D sketches and kind of make it all, all filled in. But the easiest way is to just go into features, extrude boss, and use something called a draft. So a draft angles in as as it extrudes up it angles in so all we're going to do is we're going to use a draft and i'm going to use oh you can hear, see here it's already selected so this is what a normal extrude would look like and now i'm going to turn on a draft and you can see that as it goes up it's pitching in so you can also pitch or draft outwards which would look like that which is not as pretty so we're going to draft inward we're going to use my favorite angle of 45 degrees and we're going to just go up uh until it comes to a point so I think that looks like good geometry. I think it's gonna look pretty. It's got a 45 degree angle. Why wouldn't it look pretty? So we're just gonna click okay. And there we go, we got it uh, extruded out. Pretty simple. So one kind of couple extra features I added in here is I like to have a little bit of a flat. So I don't like going to a sharp edge when I, when I 3D print stuff, just because I like printing with something called a berm, um, or sorry, not a berm, a brim. And I find just giving this a little bit something, a little straight up and down gives it something to stick to. So I'm gonna go to the back side here. I'm gonna use something called the convert entities. So that's right here. We're gonna convert entities. I'm gonna select this face. So now it's going to convert all the outside edges into a sketch. So if I click okay, you can see now I have sketches over top of all those outside edges. Now I'm just gonna do, do a quick Features extrude boss, and we're just gonna make this 116. So there we go. So that's where I'm talking about uh, when you do kind of a brim, it kind of makes some layers that come up. So this gives it something to build a brim up to. So this is pretty simple. Um, just takes two of these to make the ornament and back and forth. But the way I'm gonna connect them together is I'm gonna just make some holes, some al alignment holes, and I'm gonna put wood, little wooden dowels. So if you looked at this, if you've seen the sign video, that's what I did for that too. I used some wooden dowels. And I got a lot of hate mail. People really don't like me using wooden dowels to put plastic parts together, but I like using it uh, mostly because you could do a locating feature to locate this to another one, but then I would have two different parts that I got to manage. So this way I can just slap two of these onto a 3D printer and it would make the whole, the whole print. And also, if you have anything sticking out on the bottom here, all of a sudden you got to start having it raised off the bed so that you can 3D print uh, those alignment features. Whereas this, I can just 3D print flat on the bottom and it'll make the cavities and pop the dowels in and it'll work out fine. 
So I'm gonna quickly go through and add in the dowels. You guys don't need to see that because it's just a couple holes. And then when I'm done with that, we're gonna just make the hole for hanging it on the tree. Let's go. I got, now I got a nice little hole for it to kind of sit on there. So that's perfect. So that's what we were looking for. So now all we need to do is we need to print two and then slap them together. And we'll have a nice little star ornament. So that's the first one. That's kind of the easy one. Now let's move on to the more complex multi-body one. Let's go. All right, cat friends. Now on to design number two. This one's a little bit more complex. This one's going to be multiple parts in an assembly, but it's sort of the same thing. So... You can see I already have an assembly opened up and I have three parts already dropped in here, large, medium, and small star. So we're going to just open up this part here and we're going to get to it. So you can see I already have a sketch done up. You've seen in the other one how I made the star, so no need to sketch it again. So all I did was I did a sketch and then um, made that six inches and then just used the offset entities to offset it a quarter of an inch. So now that I have my base sketch on the front plane, all I need to do is extrude boss and we're going to make this mid plane and we're going to make it about three eighths thick. That seems about right. So now I have kind of the outside shape of that first star. I just need to do some work on the inside now to hold the dowel for the rest of the stars to, to align on. So stars to align. That was pretty funny. Uh, so we're going to add a reference plane to start. So we want to build something in the bottom here to hold the dowel so we're just going to make reference geometry so we're going to choose a reference plane then we're going to choose this dot here and we're going to choose the top plane and there we go so then that's making us our reference plane there and from there we can start a sketch on that plane and we're going to start with a circle and make it exactly the 3 8 size that needs to be and we're gonna extrude boss that out. So we're gonna extrude this two directions. So I wanna make it a quarter inch between each star. So there'll be quarter inch, quarter inch space, quarter inch star, and then the center star. So for that, we're gonna extend this up one eighth of an inch. And in direction two, we're gonna go up to vertex and we're gonna make this come all the way up to this point here. So there we go. So now we got a little bit of a base there. Then that's where the next star is going to sit on top of. And that's where it's going to be a kind of the bottom holder for the dowel. So now I got to do a little bit of work at the top to add a hole for it to hang as well as kind of make the top mount where the dowel is going to sit through. So I'm going to quickly go through that. It's just a bunch of extrudes and the same thing where I'm building a reference plane and then working off of it. So there we go, we have the uh, top hole put in there for me to hang it up on the tree and then we kind of got some other upper geometry done to hold the star, so or hold the dowel in place. So now we're just going to make a hole that goes through. Um, so we're going to start a sketch on top of this cylinder that we made here. So again, it's going to look like this. And we're going to make that um, just over a quarter inch. Make that 0 0.260, 260. Just to give it 10 thou clearance to make sure that the dowel um, actually has room to fit in there and it's not a it's not too much of a shove so we're going to make that go down into the star a quarter of an inch so that it has somewhere to kind of sit in so i'll put some hot glue and we'll have it rest in there and then the other direction we'll just go blind and we'll go through all so that's going to go all the way through so it needs to go all the way through because we need to be able to drop the dowel in through the top all the way down so there we go so that's the first star so now I'm going to have to do this again for the second star. So I'm probably going to go through this a little bit faster um, because it is remaking the first star just in a smaller size. So one thing you might think you can do is use the scale tool because the scale tool is very good at taking existing geometry and just making it smaller. Unfortunately, it would make all the dimensions smaller. So it's going to make the inside 
hole for the dowel too small and stuff. So we're actually gonna have to redraw it the same as we did this, um, but smaller. So I'm gonna fast forward through that with the magic of YouTube. Well, let's go. And just like that, we have two stars now. It's that easy. It's, you, you, everybody should be a YouTuber because you can just, everything just ha magically happens. So we have the inside star is done. It's like I said, it's a quarter inch offset. It was the same thing, except this is a little bit extruded farther down. And then again, the hole goes through all of it. So the last thing to do is the center star or the small star. So we're going to open up the small star and just quickly do that one. So there we go guys, we have all of our stars made up. Now it's in the assembly, it's just a matter of mating them up, which is super easy now that they all have holes in the middle, because all we have to do is a, a coincident mate, or a, sorry, a concentric mate for the shaft, and then just need to butt these up with one coincident mate. So, oops, I accidentally copied and pasted. I'm just gonna butt that one up there, delete the floating star that I have there and then finally this one here again we're gonna do a concentric mate to the center and we're gonna do a coincident mate from here to and it's just that easy so we can have now we have our stars that can rotate about the middle and then we'll have a wooden dowel that goes up and up through the center and then lets them pivot about that so it's that simple uh now it's just time to build it so let's get to that ornaments turned out awesome it's always nice just seeing something that you made on the tree it's just like when you used to build your mom tree ornaments when you were a little kid it's no different you can be you know 25 and still building your mom christmas ornaments this a little bit more technology now i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i hope you guys learned something about using reference planes or just got you in the christmas spirit thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next episode Oh,